comprised of former law enforcement, special operators, and Navy SEALs turned private investigators, helps locate missing runaway children. It's called Saved in America, and it's hosting its fourth annual fundraising dinner coming up in the month of November. Joining us with more on the event and its mission and how you can support it is IT strategist and supporter, support of the Department of Defense and Department of Homeland Security, Stephanie Myers. Stephanie, welcome back to KSI. Thank you for having me, and thank you so much for bringing awareness to our upcoming event. Well, let's talk a little bit about it. First of all, let's talk about the problem. Is it getting better with what's going on at the border, or is it getting much worse? Much, much worse. Over a million illegal immigrants have crossed the border in the last now going on 10 months. Um, why it's important to San Diego, we are the second top city in the United States for human and sex trafficking. The other thing with what's going on with Afghanistan, we've got terrorists crossing the border. In fact, the FBI has already identified folks that are on the top 10 watch list for them crossing the border. So we're basically just letting everybody in. It's a travesty not only to our community, but to our nation that we're allowing this to happen. The other horrible thing about it is our sex trafficking numbers are going to go up amongst everything else all these illegals that are coming don't have to abide by the laws the rules or the mandates that are in place for us well stephanie you're well connected with the powers that be in in the white house or, or in the you know in the dc in the nation's capital mm -hmm. how come this you know your your concerns are falling upon deaf ears why is that well i think we're being ignored um, what uh, helps is that our Saved in America Foundation is nationwide. Uh, the laws need to be stricter. We need amazing cheerleaders like the former Commissioner of Customs, Border and Protection, Mark Morgan, who was our keynote speaker. Uh, Congressman Daryl Issa has raised awareness. Uh, so getting more folks like those two uh, raises a lot of awareness. Unfortunately, uh, the leadership is ignoring, when I say leadership, leadership in D.C., is 100% ignoring and don't care about our families or our communities. It's obvious when you have open borders. What people need to understand is open borders is just going to create more crime, more trafficking. In California, we have what's called the evil triad. When uh, our governor let out prison gangs, when he let prisoners out, We've got prison gangs hitting the street, we've got the cartel, and we have street gangs. So in California, it's even worse because of that evil triad, and our numbers have increased dramatically. Help me understand how the trafficking works. Kind of just broad stroke it for me. How do these kids go missing? Great question. A lot of it is with social media. So by Facebook going down the other day, we probably saved a few more children. Um, a lot of times they lure vulnerable kids uh, via Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. They befriend them, they lure, then they groom them. The other things that they're doing as well is they have other children that they've trafficked lure other children so that they're not held accountable. We, Saved in America, work at no cost to the family and law enforcement assist in locating and retrieving those children by many, many intellectual information technology uh, stuff that we have, we're able to go and locate, but a lot of it is no kidding, it's social media platforms. The other thing that we have also done a few years ago, we have identified a pimp at every public middle school and high school in the San Diego County. We know who they are, Unfortunately, we need to get the laws changed. Stephanie, uh, I know the dinner's at the Grand Hotel November 4th, I believe. Do I have that right? Right. So how yes. do people, uh, how do, I assume by if attending, you're helping raise money for, for the cause, are you not? 100%. We rely 100% on donations. Uh, we, pe people see our cause, see what we do. We actually give out scholarships. Uh, that night, not only is our former uh, commissioner of the CBP, Mark Morgan, is going to be our keynote, we're also giving out the Brittany Dexrell uh, scholarship. You are going to hear from a daughter and her mother. The daughter was trafficked. She's going to receive our scholarship this year. So you will hear a great testimony of what happens, the whole ordeal, how it happened, and where she is today. 
thankfully she's doing well. But yes, you can go to savedinamerica.org. All of our information's on there. You can donate, you can buy tickets. All of our event information is on there and it is November 4th at the U.S. Grant at 5.30. Well, we hope you raise a lot of money. Obviously, it's a noble cause. I'd like to have you back and talk about, I'm looking at your uh, bio here and, and your expertise in the uh, supply chain. That's another conversation all to itself. Perhaps we can oh, yeah. We can, uh, discuss that the next time we're together, okay? Absolutely. I've got intel on that, too. <laughs> all right. Stephanie Myers, uh, thank you very much.